This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And syempre, napakadali rin mag-sign up since you can just sign up using your social media account or Google account or manually uh, sign up sa kanilang website. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. And yes, there are a lot of payment options using your credit card, debit card, via PayPal account or uh, if you have a PayPal account like uh, mine, yun yung gagamitin natin. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan at dito tayo ngayon para sa isang comparison between the Asus Stuff B450M Pro Gaming at saka MSI B450 Tomahawk. Isishare ko lang naman ngayon mga kaibigan ang aking findings for the past few weeks or uh, I think uh, almost one month and uh, yan is about this Asus Stuff B450M Pro Gaming having a better VRM thermals compared to this B450 Tomahawk. So yun, medyo mapapatas yung kilay natin mga kaibigan kasi for uh, almost 2 years yata, ayun, uh, naipakita natin dito sa ating channel that uh, the B450 Tomahawk is featured with a lot of uh, PC builds, with a lot of uh, testing, overclocking, and uh, sobrang dami ng patunay na this is a good motherboard. Pero ayun, nakita din natin mga kaibigan recently sa ating mga videos or some posts sa aking uh, Facebook page that this B450M Pro Gaming motherboard got a lower thermals compared to this Tomahawk. So medyo nakakapagtaka kasi pagdating sa CPU side or uh, software gathered data, mas maganda yung kanyang thermals. Aalamin natin ngayon mga kaibigan kung same din ba ang maging output natin pagdating sa hardware. Kung gagawin natin is i-gather natin yung data directly from the top side VRM section at saka sa left side VRM section over this B450 Tomahawk. Feel free to subscribe mga kaibigan dahil ayun po maraming maraming salamat dahil mag 100k na tayo and yes we are now investing on more uh, tools para sa mga hardware testing na gagawin natin in the future and mas marami pang mga videos, mas detailed na videos like this ang gagawin natin pagdating sa mga susunod na uploads. Okay, so sisimulan natin with this uh, B450 Tomahawk. Alam ko medyo mapapaisip din kayo na uh, diba yan na yung pinakamaganding motherboard. It's recommended by all uh, groups, uh, other international reviewers uh, already considered or declared that this is the best motherboard or coolest motherboard in terms of VRM thermals. Well, um, yes, it's uh, true na ito is uh, napakagandang motherboard pero it's just sad to say na wala silang uh, naisama na B450M Pro Gaming dahil nga in terms of data sheet in terms of spec sheet this motherboard is not actually the better motherboard actually ang ginawa po natin mga kaibigan just to have uh, more accurate understanding pagdating sa comparison na to is we go up to the point na talagang pinull out ko yung data sheet ng bawat components ng bawat motherboard na meron tayo and uh, yes that is the reason na kung bakit ko naintindihan na tama yung visual inspection review na pinakita na ng mga ibang nag-review ng motherboard na to. Kasi nga, pagdating talaga sa kanyang datasheet, mas mataas yung thermals na output ng ating mga components na naka-install. Pero, it's just too sad that R&Ds of motherboard company are not releasing the schematic diagram. Kung meron lang sanang schematic diagram mga kaibigan, we have a better understanding kung how is the implementation of the VRM. Yun is hindi ko na masisisi mga kaibigan kung bakit yung ibang naggagawa ng mga international uh, electronic uh, review ng mga motherboards, eh minsan may partly na hindi nila may state or hindi nila ma-discuss pagdating sa review kasi nga hindi mo talaga masasabi ang motherboard is better over the other in terms of electronic if you don't have the schematic diagram. And with that being said, that is the reason kung bakit ako naging curious with this motherboard. Kasi bakit pagdating sa CPU thermals, mas mababa dito over this Tomahawk. 
So, syempre, nag-iisip ako na there's an impact talaga. Which is, tama naman. Uh, we have uh, already discussed that before. Na relative yung uh, VRM design pagdating sa thermals or uh, performance ng ating CPU. And uh, dahil nga medyo hindi ka panipaniwala dahil sa datasheet niya or sa spec sheet ng kanyang mga SMD components, eh, mas uh, tagilid naman tong motherboard na to. Ang ginawa na natin ngayon mga kaibigan is to invest again pagdating sa mga tools. So it's not for me to resume sa pagre-repair dahil sira na talaga yung isang mata ko dahil sa kakasilit ng mga magnifying glass before. Kaya never ko nang binalak talaga na bumalik pa sa board level repair. Pero nag-invest ako just for this kind of testing. And uh, some are still not here, pero there are now the some tools na kailangan ko pagdating naman sa uh, thermals kasi more on the thermals lang naman yung discussion natin as of now. For future videos, there will be more broad uh, discussion in terms of wattage, in terms of uh, voltage, uh, reading pagdating sa hardware side, pero that will be served sa ating uh, mga future videos na mga kaibigan. And here we have the CPU thermals. And at the same time, here we have the VRM thermals pagdating sa top side faces ng VRM at saka sa left side. And dito natin makikita mga kaibigan that benchmark won't lie. Ang ginawa na natin is we gather data at the same time documented this uh, by uh, having a raw footage nung kinukuha natin yung mga data between this motherboard. The testing methodology nandyan na po mga kaibigan and at the same time mga kaibigan we also set everything into a static mode. Ibig sabihin mga kaibigan same voltage settings pagdating sa kanilang mga BIOS between this motherboard para there's no kind of uh, inaccuracy na pwedeng mangyari pagdating sa paggather natin ng thermals. Now This video is all about which is the cooler motherboard. And here we have benchmark that this Asus Tough B450M Pro Gaming is the cooler motherboard in terms of VRM and in terms of CPU performance. Nakikita din naman natin mga kaibigan the lags pagdating sa ating IDA64. So those are not just graph. Hindi ko kayo binigyan ng mga graph only. Ang ipinakita ko na sa inyo mga kaibigan is yung mismong lags para at least, ayan, kitang kita. Kasi ang hirap talaga patunayan na this is better over this. Kasi spec sheet and it's for years na pinapaniwalaan natin na Tomahawk is the best pagdating sa ganyang uh, benchmark sa B450 lineup. It's just sad to say siguro na hindi talaga natin na-discover ito. Pero... Eto mga kaibigan, another thing that we have discovered with this B450M Pro Gaming is for having this kind of uh, beefy heatsink. Na pati yung mismong chokes or inductors, I prefer to call it inductors kasi ever since the beginning naman, inductors ang tao natin dyan. Pero I think uh, some international reviewers also are now shifting to that kind of term. Kasi the general term talaga dyan is dapat... Uh, more on the inductors. And uh, dito, meron na siyang inductors and para rin sa thermal pads ng para sa MOSFET. So, mas effective in terms of cooling implementation. Now, is that the reason kung bakit this comes with a better VRM thermals over the other? How about if you look at the CPU thermals? Bakit mas mababa rin yung CPU thermals pagdating dito sa motherboard na to? Kung mas mababa lang yung VRM niya because of this kind of uh, heat sink, dapat sana, if not the same, is lower yung CPU thermals pagdating sa Tomahawk. Pero, it's still relative. So, ibig sabihin, this really comes with a good implementation or design pagdating sa VRM. Kasi when you look closely din naman, it comes with more chokes or more inductors and more filter capacitors. Pero that is not the way how to judge a better VRM over the other. Kasi nga, maraming mga ginagawa mga company or mga manufacturers Uh, regarding those kind of parts na visually nakikita natin na mas minsan pinapaganda pero some are not really helpful pagdating dun sa mismong design well, I'm not that uh, good to judge in terms of uh, that kind of uh, visual inspection kaya we will not discuss about that what I can just state in here is 
kung meron lang sanang schematic, then we can further state that this have a big impact. Kaya ang masasabi ko lang ngayon mga kaibigan is, what is more important, the real world benchmark. Kung baga kung ano yung nagiging final outcome ng kanilang mga design towards the component na CPU, at the same time the thermal for the whole package ng motherboard. Kasi in the end of the day naman mga kaibigan, ang pinaka-importante talaga is yung kanyang impact pagdating sa ating real world performance. So, syempre, kung mas okay yung thermals niya, mas okay yung kanyang uh, CPU ter temperature, then we have a higher chance to have also a better boost in terms of CPU. And that is the reason kung bakit natin pinag-uusapan ang VRM para sa ating mga kasamahan dyan na bibili pa lang ng kanilang mga PC build or mag-a-avail pa lang ng kanilang mga motherboard processor bundles. Hindi ko sinasabi dito mga kaibigan that Tomahawk is not a good motherboard pero I'm just stating in here that B450M Pro Gaming Asus is also a very good motherboard that can go on par with Tomahawk if not better. Pero with the review na nakita natin, with the findings na nakuha natin mga kaibigan, I may now state that this B450M Pro Gaming is the better motherboard in terms of thermal so far sa lahat ng na-testing natin. Kasi baka mamaya mga kaibigan, meron pang mga nakatago dyan ng mga B450 na hindi pa na-review ng iba or uh, hindi rin natin nakilatis pa. And uh, pag ni-review natin is mas maganda pala yung kanyang uh, cooling performance in terms of VRM. So ayun mga kaibigan, it's not yet to, to judge it finally pero uh, so far halos lahat na yata ng mga B450 motherboard are uh, reviewed na sa ating market dahil palabas na rin naman ng B550. Kaya this video is uh, tinawag ko na lang na better late than never. At least you will have an idea baka magro-roll pa kasi ang B450 for uh, most likely one year or two sa ating market dahil na nga napakamahal ng B550 uh, chipset motherboards. Alright, so that's it mga kaibigan. Feel free to subscribe and keep posted for more videos like this.